This is the latest technology in self-watering pots. Uh, Mick here is giving us a rundown on that. A lot of people choose uh, water holding granules as a slow release. What would be the pros and cons between purchasing those granules or this self-watering pot system that you're showcasing here? Basically, with the self-watering pot, you don't need any of that um, them, uh, water, water holding granules. Yes. Basically, it'll draw that water up through the soil. Okay. And it'll be water on demand the whole time, so your plant doesn't ever get stressed out. Yep. Um, you've also uh, the benefit of this, you can put your organic fertilizers in and okay. it it up through the soil, giving it nutrients on demand. And you don't have to keep purchasing those granules on a yeah. regular uh, routine yeah. and it, basis. Because, because you can fertilize your soil, your uh, yep. potting mix or whatever you're going to use is going to last a hell of a lot longer. Much more efficient, exactly. much more economical, yeah. isn't it? Yep. And uh, just uh, yeah, show us a bit of a demo how it actually works yeah. over yeah. here at your... So basically, if you look Look in this one, that's your reservoir in there. Yes. You got your required height. Just fill it up to max most of the time okay. until it starts coming out of the overflow holes. This is a cost effective way of growing. So this thing here goes straight in the bottom there. Yep. These wicks here will sit in the bottom and that's what draws that uh, water up through the soil. Very good. And keeping it nice and wet. So if you can see this one over here, so it looks dry on the top, inside yep. it's all moist and wonderful. And grow pretty much anything in there. There's nothing that you really can't grow in these things. From start to finish, the plant will have a healthy cycles. Yep. Thanks to the self replenishing, self watering pot. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Mick. I'm here with Jack. He's got some state of the art technology to show us in the realm of fans and climate control. Thanks for joining us. Now this looks very advanced. Can you give us a bit of a rundown on how uh, this works? So we uh, sell and manufacture high efficiency, high performance fans. Yes. Um, here we see two variations. There's a standard AC motor as well as an EC motor. Same air performance, but for in significantly low input power. So very important to have climate exactly control right. for your indoor grow. Exactly right. This one consumes six watts versus yes. the standard product only 33, is 33 watts. So for the same air performance, uh, significant reduction. In so would this use a lot of electricity to run? Relative, uh, no. Right. Not relative to the standard product. True. Yeah. And uh, this would be a lot better than using an air conditioner Correct. or anything along those Correct. lines. We also have a significant level of um, control products. Yes. So you would get greater control over the maintenance of your environment yep. relative to a standard split system AC uh, air conditioner something like that. And of course you would need oscillating fans as well. We don't manufacture those. No. But of, of, of course those yes. exist as well. That's not, we're more in, in the ventilation side of things. How much would one of these machines be going for if someone was in the market? Still finalising our range. We are a new okay. brand. Uh, we're here today to do market research, learn yes. about the requirements, um, and hopefully launching at the start of 2018. Okay, so there's been no price set as no, yet? No. The ra ra range still needs to be finalised. But um, German engineered products. Yeah, German uh, engineering. You can't so, beat that, can you? So a lot of uh, R&D has gone into them yes. already and hopefully to piggyback that going into the hydroponic sector. An excellent way of keeping your room at ideal temperatures. Right. Thank you very much. Jeez, I'm here with Steve. He's going to give us a rundown on some of the nutrient packages he's got selling. Uh, some of the top performers. Thanks for joining us, Steve. Uh, just yeah, show us through. And um, what would you recommend to people? Uh, yeah. Really, um, what we do is we add a lot of biology into our hydroponics. So yes. You guys don't do this. So there's full salt formulas, a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So basically, we give people the option. Uh, it's on stuff for living soil, so you can either use nutrient dense soils. Yes. Or you can still do hydroponics as well. Mm -hmm. So our range is based around these three keys. Okay. okay. So basically, you've got a, a marine based extract. Yes. Uh, if you've got an aloe vera, a yucca plant extract, <laughs> and then you've got a guano as well. Now these are nice natural products that don't raise the EC. They don't have heaps of um, palladic kind of salts or mm -hmm. anything in them as well. And it's got your three main components, your nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus. This one does? Yes. What we're about that's a little bit different. So okay. Hydro when you need all the actual macro and micro elements. Yes. If you're in a hydroponic system, you need the green diamond. Okay. The green diamond is a full analysis nutrient. Yeah. Okay, this is a complete spectrum. So if you want all your micros and macros, if you're mm -hmm. not in a nutrient dense soil, you need the green diamond. Okay. So, yeah, you just have to have a base nutrient, man. You know, if you're growing in a water system, yes. or cocoa fiber. When you start to get into the organic additives, you can choose soil or hydroponics. Okay. So really, you need to use soil and these three here. 
or you use the green diamond in those three, depending on your system type. Mm -hmm. Now, when you say things like, you know, you might say like iron, zinc, and all these yes. little things, this is how biology comes into it. Okay, mm -hmm. so rather than just load up a bottle of some of these elements in like synthetic form, so you think about what biology does, what microbes do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our range from like more microbes, and this is kind of bacillus microbes and trichoderma and other things as mm -hmm. well that we mm -hmm. also introduce. They eat up other nutrients yes. and make other nutrients right. available. So you mm -hmm. start getting things like selenium available, mm -hmm. you know, other mm -hmm. kinds of zinc available. Now they might not be in the bottles, but the microbes right. make these new minerals. Okay, it's very important. Um, mm -hmm. That's what's missing out of Australian farmland even. You know, so what's missing out of soil kind of. It's the microbiology okay, so you would that's uh, right. You're letting these put microbes kind of do the work yep. for you, man. Eh? So that's what makes us a little bit different. Okay. Kind of, yeah, we like using biology, mm -hmm. working with things. And different nutrient kind of, yeah. packs for different systems and different yeah, mediums. Definitely. Yeah, that's right. And we're yeah. very versatile, man. So we're not even saying there's one way to grow and that's the best way to grow and the only way to grow. Yep. We're saying, hey, if you grow hydro, you grow deep water culture, you do yeah, yeah. fiber, you go this way. Mm -hmm. If you want to do soil, you go full organics, man, we go this way. And it's kind of, we try and make it easy for people, man. What kind of grower mm -hmm. are you? What do you want to do? Is yep. it medical? Do you want production? So yeah, we've we really narrowed it down. We try and cater to everyone, man. Eh? So yep. we've been doing this for a little while, so we try yep. and do the best job. I appreciate the science behind so, it. Thank you very much, right. Steve. Thank You've you. given us a, an excellent presentation. No We're with Richie from SolSense. He's going to show us the latest in LEC technology. That's light emitting ceramics for indoor grows. Thank you very much, Richie. Well, LEC stands for light emitting ceramics. Yes, basically, it's basically ceramic art tubes uh, burnt at a higher temperature than uh, other methods, uh, thus igniting more gases, thus getting a closer spectrum to the sun, as you can see. And uh, more importantly, with half the wattage. So the efficiency is far greater than the high pressure sodium or LEDs. Just correct. Well, with LEDs, debatables. LEDs. Right. Uh, it's still quite a new technology, but uh, the LECs have definitely proven themselves. Um, so they're definitely in the same realm as far as LED technology, they're uh, part and parcel. This is correct. Excellent. And uh, we have two different options, we have the complete kit, uh, all in one. We have the remote ballast option, but it's difficult. And uh, it comes with a 3000 k lamp. Yes. And uh, the LEC spectrum to couple it. We've got the LEC glasses. So color red to correct, correct the color. Yep. That's been able to spot the pests and disease earlier. How long has this light been on the market for? Uh, well, over the last five, uh, five years okay. uh, in America, I've been for a while. It's not the new, it's right. new technology. Yep. But uh, I guess in the Australian market. In Australia, in it Australia, is. In Australia, it's um, the last, the last two or three years, I'd say. Yeah. True, yeah. That's yeah. really starting to make an impact. This would be a very good investment for someone looking to enter into the market. Yep. Uh, low temperatures, yep. no heat being emitted. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Thank you very much, Richie. No worries. Uh, hope you get many customers today. Cheers. Thank you very awesome. much.